Hi, a while ago we did a video about pulse width detection ability of uh, various RF meters. We featured a bunch of them. At the time we didn't have this particular meter. Um, it's called an ESI24. And in our, our tests that we've done so far from an RF frequency response point of view, it's pretty good. And so uh, we just haven't taken the time yet to look at its ability to detect uh, narrow pulses. So so we're in a RF reverberation chamber. It's a controlled RF space. And uh, we're going to uh, do our usual test, 2.4 gigahertz at uh, nominal 1,000 microwatt per square meter uh, power density. And uh, we'll see how this, uh, how this unit behaves with narrow pulses, okay? Okay, so in the control room here, we've got the signal generator set for 2.4 gigahertz, a power level feeding into the chamber so that when I turn the RF on, if we go over to the closed circuit, we're going to see that continuous wave, it's around 1,000 microwatts per square meter. Okay, But for today, we're not talking about power accuracy. We're not talking about frequency response. We're just going to fire some pulses, narrow pulses at it. Okay, so for this pulse width test, we're going to start at a very wide pulse at 300 microseconds. I'm going to turn the RF on. <clears throat> and just to confirm, we're still around 1,000 microwatts per square meter. I'll put the... Uh, system into burst mode and now I'm going to manually trigger right now here is one two three four five okay so doing well so I'm going to switch now I'm going to let's drop it down to uh, 250 microseconds put it into burst mode trigger source and here's our triggering now one two three four five okay still seeing at 250 microseconds five out of five let's drop down to 200 microseconds 200 please there we go manual trigger and here is number one, missed, two, three, four, five. So it missed two out of five at 200 microseconds. Let's drop to 150 microseconds. And here is number one, two, three, four, five. So it missed one at 150 microseconds. Let's go down 200 microseconds. Trigger, manual, one, two, three, four, and five. So it got two out of five at 100 microseconds. Let's drop down to 50 microseconds. And here's trigger one, two, three, four, five. So it got a couple out of five at 50 microseconds. Let's go down to 25 microseconds. And here's pulse one, two, three, four, five. So it only got one out of five. <clears throat> So what we're seeing is starting around, it looks like around 150, we're starting to lose pulses. So there was even one lost pulse, if I remember correctly, at 200. Um, so not doing so well uh, at uh, narrow, narrower pulses. The uh, Safe and Sound Pro, we can demonstrate and have in the past that uh, that meter uh, goes down to five microseconds and we've actually tested down to three microsecond pulses. So, um, yeah, 
and disappointing for pulse width measurement. So something to be aware of. Um, you know, it's great meter for RF frequency coverage, but uh, not, not great at detecting narrow pulses.